Looking busy there, Dave. How's it going? Been all right. I'm just going to put some oil on the horns again, get them shining. Just some box ticking. So, uh, but yeah, it's looking good. I'm, I'm fairly pleased how it's going. It feels like you could cut the atmosphere with a knife. There's, there's, real, there's real tension in the air. Fern is a, a firm favourite at Cannon Hall Farm. Um, we, we feel as though she's been around forever. Um, and we're just really proud of her and we're, we're really rated. her. He's brought it home to us just what a good cow she is because we've had so many admiring comments about her. So not just from people who love Cannon Hall Farm, but from other Highland cattle breeders. You know, the, the chap who bred her is an absolute gentleman really well respected. We feel, feel as though we've got some wonderful foundation stock here, something to really build from. Slightly stressed at the moment. I've got to say, uh, it is quite tense. Uh, never done this before. People take this very seriously, so uh, let's, let's hope we, uh, we do the farm proud. Sorry, we're in your way. I think he's doing great at the moment. Couldn't, couldn't be better. Surprised there, yeah. Pleasantly surprised, but very proud. Bruce did a really good job. <laughs> really shocked, actually. Uh, very surprised. Well, we've got a great cow, right? Fern is superb. She's a great animal. Ted's a lovely little calf as well. He's going to be a great bull. Uh, Ruth's done a fantastic job over the last month cleaning it and everything. We've been taking Fern out for walks all the time. She wasn't phased by anything. She walked past all those, those people out there and she behaved herself. So I'm proud, proud as punch really. It, it's uh, a great day for, for the farm. You know, back in the show ring again. Can't beat it. All right, breed champion then now, Rob. What are you, what are you thinking? Well, it's one of them, I think. I think we've got a fighting chance to be fair. I don't, you don't want to sort of, Chickens, but uh, I, think we've, I think we've got a, we've got a chance, definitely. It looks really good. Behaving really well. Ted looks so laid back. It's true. David really looks like they've been doing it so I think we're in there with a the show. Champion in female class. Right, we've had a, a massive surprise. We were all unpacking, we were heading off to the bar, you know, we were going to celebrate the victory, and all of a sudden, tap on the shoulder, the judge wants you back in the ring. Wow, what have we done wrong, you know? Came back in the ring, and he's made us reserve overall champion, beating the male champion to the, uh, to the prize. So we couldn't be more pleased, we couldn't be more thrilled. David and Ruth have done brilliantly, but above all, Fern and Ted are the true champions. We're absolutely delighted. Right, Dave, so what's happened? <laughs> Bit of a roller coaster. We won reserve uh, senior effort, and then we, we got reserve champion uh, with the female cows, and then we've uh, got reserve champion uh, of the Highlands. So um, you know, could be more pleased. Uh, we're in the ring tomorrow at uh, two o'clock, I believe, for the grand parade. So that'll be interesting. It's not often I'm lost for words, but that is... I suppose when you see there's a class of three, you always think you've a chance, but when, when you're a total novice at this game, as we are, you, you know, you, you feel as though you're bound to have done something wrong to scupper your chances. But Ruth has prepped that cow and calf 
unbelievably well. David showed it like a, a seasoned professional and the, and the cow just performed beautifully all the way around the ring, stopped when it should have stopped, carried on when it needed to, and, and, and Ted were just out there enjoying the day, so it was a perfect, perfect day.